Hi, good morning. Hi, good morning, and welcome to today's products in focus. Well, it's a little bit of a bloodbath in the markets as uh, China sold off more aggressively overnight. You can see the uh, incredibly uh, bearish candle that we had on yesterday on the US 30, breaking below 17.034, uh, and that move has been accelerated down this morning. Now, if you look at things from a traditional technical analysis point of view, the next potential support level that you have on the US 30 is significantly lower. Uh, around about 15.860, albeit you could probably take this level down here, um, but it's not going ne necessarily be as significant. But um, a lot of downwards action is still possible. We're accelerating away from the, move, from the moving averages. Um, the other technical indicators are relatively neutral. Sands, the RSI, that's just gone to oversold territory. But I think it actually hit there yesterday. So what has kind of been the extra pre precursor to that has been the uh, PMI data from manufacturing data uh, from China expected to come in at 47.7, came in at 47.1. Um, that 0.6 change is the widest, fastest uh, decline uh, since 2008, 2009 um, over in that region. And uh, very much in a lot of mainstream news are reporting the slowdown in China and uh, the head of the FSA over here in the UK even made comments about the uh, kind of lack of credibility in some of the figures that are coming out of China, as in some of these figures potentially could be way worse than uh, what they're actually reporting. Uh, and that's having a big knock on effect. So with commodities in particular, you have um, gold shooting up as a safe haven. You've got the uh, West Texas crude still hugging around about 40, spot 40, uh, whereas many other commodity markets like copper is languishing around six and a half year lows. Um, the UK 100 is actually off the session lows. It went much lower this morning, down to 62.08. Um, and now we're at uh, 62.84. So there's been a strong bounce this morning, uh, albeit the, the move has been quite exacerbated with these three uh, black hole candle formations. Um, RSI oversold, not surprising. Um, uh, 6260, uh, 62.96, around about 6300 is the potential support. Um, it's not above that line just now. The next potential support past that is 60.73. So you are talking about another 200 odd point potential move before you hit the next significant support level. Uh, again, UK 100 getting particularly hard hit because of our exposure to the commodity markets with mining stocks and BP Shell with crude oil. So in Japan 225, Firmly crashing through 20,087, accelerating his move to the downside this morning. Dollar yen uh, reverse course as well, so people are buying safe haven yen at the expense of the US dollar. Rate hike in September seems very unlikely at this current stage with the markets retreating the way that they are just now. The tips of these candles for Japan 225 are in about uh, 19,115, could be the next potential support, uh, then followed by 18,648. Bearish crossover on the moving averages. Other technicals are neutral sands, the RSI also oversold. So looking at that dollar yen, dollar yen, um, three negative candles, 21.83 as a potential support level. Other technicals neutral apart from the MACD that's just about to cross the zero line. Moving on to West Texas crude, uh, fundamentals aren't very supportive. $35.30 is the next potential support with $42 expected to act as potential resistance in case we do get any sort of bounce. Weakness in the US dollar should be helping West Texas crude, but it's not really so far this morning. Gold, um, unsurprising, uh, is the one to watch. It was actually much higher this morning. Uh, it had gone all the way to 1169. Uh, really 1186 is the next potential resistance for above both moving averages. Other technicals are accelerating exceptionally fast with the MACD crossing the zero line just now, another positive aspect. Though a bit similar to the reversal that we've seen in the UK 100 this morning, gold has sold off um, and is way, way away from its, uh, its uh, highs of the day. Um, but I don't think anything's really kind of changed with US interest rates following our initial discussion. That September just feels like it's just not going to happen. Even December at this stage, when the world stock markets are selling off like this, seems to be unlikely. So looking at Euro dollar, uh, you can see the dollar is pretty much just rolled over um, uh, with a, a very strong day for the Euro yesterday. Obviously, you've got the uh, the Greek Prime Minister has now stood down for fresh elections. That's just really a distraction. It's all about China uh, at the moment and um, the state of their economy. And uh, you can see that we're even making a little bit of fresh ground on, Euro, on dollar, uh, 
uh, euro dollar sorry uh, with one spot 1475 the next potential support we've finally gotten away from these long -lived candles so finishing up with gbp usd uh, moving to the upside one spot 5743 as a potential resistance we're, we're above most uh, moving averages other technicals are quite neutral uh, and that's currently where we stand with that so we've still got a whole host of pmi data to come out of uh, germany the eurozone and you've got uk public finances and eurozone um, cci uh, we are quite close to finishing up the uh, asian uh, market as well so the chinese stock market will post its final figure for the week um, i think um, oil's had its longest losing streak in 20 since 1986 uh, 29 years um, so that's not a very good headline to have for that commodity as well. Uh, and if we fast forward on to Monday, um, you can see that we've not really got a huge amount. Going on to Tuesday, you've got more German uh, GDP, uh, business IFO, uh, business sentiment index data, and uh, then you've got uh, US CCI. Uh, and luckily we don't have any more Chinese data over the weekend to cause a lot of trouble. Um, Keep your eye on the chart forum. I can already see that uh, Jasper and uh, Michael Hewson are going to be doing lots of analysis across these key markets. Make sure you get a chance to see that. Add insights to your layout. Lots of very important updates throughout today's session. I think today's session is going to be particularly important for a number of traders. And uh, catch me again on Monday to find out what happened next.